or your twin flame reading for Virgo. Now, I just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Those of you who have followed for the last two years, I'd like to thank you um, for your loyalty. I appreciate it. And those of you who are new, welcome and I hope you stay. Uh, I'm still going to be doing live sessions during December. This is going to be a ongoing thing where I do, you know, each element um, as well within the twin flame zodiac signs. I'll be doing that ongoingly on the channel. As well as in the reading, I'm going to cover each element that may be directly um, dealing with you. So if you're a Virgo, if you're dealing with a fire sign, earth sign, air sign or water sign, there's additional messages in this video for that. Um, again, if you are wanting to make a booking, the link is directly below. I am available over Christmas and New Year's. If you can't get a booking, you can inbox me and I can tee up an emergency booking depending on how full I am in schedule, but I should be available through um, December and January. Again, keep safe and we'll look at the energy within your reading. Okay, you guys have the first card crowning as your awareness of this deep spiritual connection. So be it your masculine or feminine, the Taurus energy is well aware of this spiritual connection. The this is what the crowning energy is coming through. So it's really heightened and on their mind. Uh, their heart chakra is very activated. They're also at an intuitive level deeply. Um, I'm feeling headaches coming through. And if you're experiencing headaches, it feels as though they're really meditating upon the spiritual connection. The masculine energy is very much coming through where they're trying to, it's almost like a cry for help. They're trying to telepathically tell you something's up in their life. Now, the, the strange thing is if they're in a karmic situation, they're having a 3D situation happen within this connection. It can be betrayal. It can be an energy of frustration and suppression. And again, being that we're in the shadow aspect of Venus, it is really a tying up of loose, loose kind of cycles and um, ending karmic cycles, so to speak. So it's actually really not surprising that this energy and frequency is coming through in the road. The first card that they have is very much any aspect of betrayal, be it with you or with the karmic energy, they're having a lesson connected to that. So it's either happening to them in a 3D level or it's happening in a sense where they're mentally thinking back to any aspects where they place their energy elsewhere and didn't give the direct energy to you. There is a lot of manipulation energy around them at the moment and it is getting them to a point where they're having to really endure this frequency and have patience but they are deeply nostalgic of past tense energies connected to you guys um, of, of how it was a simpler version um, and it is really a wake up call, you know, especially within the spiritual connection they hold with you. Now, it can be with their 3D life, they're experiencing a lot of financial, um, you know, issues, a lot of issues connected to being able to get to you at a transport physical level. Something is being pushed to a point where it is breaking point. There is a lot of control related dynamics within this connection currently, and it very much is where they're planning to actually get out of this dynamic. I'm going to have to move that light. It feels it's the end of the cycle, but whatever is happening is happening very quickly. It's coming full 360 to a point where the blocks that are coming through are there to actually help them break the karmic pattern. So any aspects of blocks, betrayal, suppression, anger and aggression, it, it's what's blocking their path, but it's what's actually helping their path. Again, betrayal, it just keeps coming through in the morning. And that light is driving me crazy. Yeah. Now again, this is the frequency and the energy of these blocks are directly assisting in this ending the karmic cycle and the karmic pattern. So very much the energy that's coming through with this raid is that it is happening very fast. They're aware of it. They feel they've tolerated this for far too long. It can be a work-related dynamic, a karmic-related energy. Wherever their power had been taken from them, 
maybe due to their choices or due to 3D situations, be it finances, a partnership, children. It's coming full throttle, full 360, and it's transforming frequency. Now, if you're an earth energy, their intent towards you is they're trying to bring things about, okay? They're trying to bring it full circle. They're trying to tie up their loose ends. They're also deeply in their mind connected to you and they really don't want, you know, they know the energy had got old. They want to have this fresh vitality connected to the connection with you. They're not wanting to have it to the point it's really, really delayed. So they're really trying to push this forward quite quickly. It is very a panicked energy where they're looking at it going, if I don't do something soon, I'm going to miss the ship. Air energies. Spiritually speaking, in their minds, they're wanting to bring forward a very um, faithful energy. Now, it may be in the past that it wasn't, you know, all the energy on you. They're aware of this cycle and their intent is very much to move it forward and show you that um, they've learned their lesson and not only connected to your connection, be it it was finances or external sources that were directly impacting it, they're really looking at it to a point where something in their 3D life has energetically showed them the other side of the fence and they're looking at it and thinking, wow, you know, deeply value this situation. Finances, they also know, um, was a block directly connected to them. They're also wanting to assist and be part of that uh, connection where they're able to uh, place cash into the direct connection. There might, might be conflict with cash at the moment that is directly hindering them in the journey with um, air energies. But they want you to know that they're coming out of that mental, physical, spiritual prison in order to move forward. I do have a message at the end of the video in relation to this cycle. Okay. Water energies. Communication may be hindered. And they know that this has been problematic. They're trying to clean up the slate. And that's so that they're not bringing old frequency directly back to you. They know they need to do this and they know that they haven't been communicating correctly with you. Really what's in their intention is they do want a reunion with you. And they're, they're any if they had a karmic and it was someone who was younger, they're tying up those loose ends where that situation is directly out of the picture. Also, it can be concerned directly connected to older and younger children. Um, and it may be that they have seen also the fact that you've deeply matured within this connection. Now, the one thing I will say is a lot of the energy that has been coming through connected to the twin collective is that December is going to be very interesting. Some frequencies are coming through where it's going to happen very quickly. Others, the delay is there because we are ending the karmic cycles, but the physical end for some will be in January. And really moving that frequency forward is going to be through from January through to March. So be patient. It's really not that far away. Keep applying the energy directly back into your life. Um, and again, I am creating secondary channel, which will be connected to the blocks to the mirroring effect of the twin flame path, the synchronicities of numbers. So I'll try and when it is up and done, I'll put the links in the videos and then you can follow there. Otherwise, during the month, I will be on live to give that direct um, support with the twin collective. Let's have a deeper look. There's a lot of betrayal going on here. They're very regretful of the path they chose. But it is very panicked energy. It's really panicked to the point where they're in a hurry. Some of them feel they just went down the wrong path. Um, some of them it was directly blocked with their finances, perhaps even a work-related vehicle. It's like something was going on in that domain that was hindering them from financial abundance to hold their power truthfully. 
they've actually taken a lot of energy not to directly come towards you because they didn't want to come away from it being, how do I put it? They, they didn't want to come towards you in a fashion that was going to look the same as it physically was previously. But it has actually really affected them spiritually where they can't have that direct contact with you. And they have been searching and looking at your social media or hearing things through the grapevine and that's really triggered them majorly. Uh, if they are with the karmic, the karmic is deeply affected by the connection that they hold with you. And they actually find the karmic energy to be very irresponsible. They're trying to, um, for those of them who aren't working, they're also trying to find employment before they move towards you. And I'm seeing accommodation as well as being a factor, like the transfer of one home to another, their mindset with them feeling that they have to have everything in order before coming to you due to the past tense situation of what transpired between you. Those that are in a marriage, I do feel that the crowning energy is really coming through, that they're severing those ties, that they know that this directly didn't have anything to do with you. It was them spiritually ending that situation, not, not just at a 3D level, but very much at an emotional, spiritual and mental level. They're really wanting this to move to the next level with you and have that deep partnership. But the, some of them are feeling like, they were the boss in this situation, but they led it astray in an incorrect manner. They're really being quite critical towards themselves, but they're moving beyond the ego and they're having those rose colored glasses removed. And it's like, what I'm hearing is they've had enough. They've really had enough of this frequency and they can't physically be in any longer. If they physically at a 3D level cannot tie up the loose ends, I do see them just jumping where they're, they're letting it go and they're throwing caution to the wind to the point they do actually just move forward without all the um, tying of loose ends up done. December can be very messy for trigger points. So try and keep as grounded as possible because if this is coming towards you and the loose ends aren't tied up, although the karmic cycles are ending and it's a negotiating stage, what is blocking them is they need to do that, okay? And that's why they haven't moved forward is because they're tying up that loop, those loose ends of a karmic cycle in order to bring that forward. If for a spiritual reason they feel they can't, you need to keep very patient and grounded in that frequency and know that they're not intentionally coming to you in that way. It's the frequency that they felt very deeply connected to you that they've wanted to give you some sense of communication or tell you what's been going on to explain the reasons why this delay has been so. I feel they've actually had money removed from them as well as assets for some of them. Like it, it's been a financial back and forward as well, but it is getting quite dirty in a sense that the energy is, whoever's directly dealing with them, they really have been backstabbed to the max, to the point where picking up their pieces, it feels like a major tower moment, but it's been an ongoing one. So uh, moving forward through it has been difficult. It, it's really pushed them beyond the ego and beyond the point where they have to use every physical, mental and spiritual tool they can to move through that aspect of adversity. There's a lot of conflict connected to those of them who do have children as well. So it is tying up the loose ends. Be mindful of that when dealing with them and just refer back to the frequency with yours. If you are cross-watching, watch your energy as well. I know that in my situation, especially when I've been in a soulmate or, or within my twin flame connection, my zodiac sign is their direct rising sign and vice versa. So they do tend to match. Not all of us are blessed enough where we know. Um, so sometimes when you listen to zodiac signs, they do merge and match where it can be your frequency coming through or it can physically be theirs. Because when we're balancing the masculine and the feminine, it directly becomes 
one frequency so it's very dual so you will at various stages mirror each other um, but at the moment if you if you do know it's handy to actually look at that otherwise you'll need to book a private reading but I'll leave it at that at the moment be patient with the situation because the part, this is a month of tying up karmic cycles this can cause tower moments this month so um, try not to get too paranoid about that aspect try and focus very much onto your 3d life but if you are getting panicked the support is there um, and I wish you love and light.